Welcome to part... Oh, crap. What are we on? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, 40. Yeah, I have to look up for that. Yeah, part 40 of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword playthrough. Link just got <laughs> this game has been way too long. <laughs> oh, yes. And you want to know the reason why it gets very longer near the end of the game? Huh? This shit. Okay. So what happened at the last part, the end of the last part, is that we freed the Sky Whale from the Parasite, and he's supposed to, you know, teach us a new song in order, for the song of the hero. Yeah, so we can uh, progress through the story. <laughs> um, but we can't learn the song of the hero from Sky Whale because he forgot the rest of it. So apparently it's split up into four uh, verses. And so he only remembers his part. We have to go find the other parts. And who knows the other parts? The three dragons of the of the land world. We've already met with one of the dragons, the water dragon from much earlier in the playthrough. So we are on good terms with her, or at least that's what we think. Especially <laughs> since we helped her twice. Twice. Anyways, um, but yeah, no, that's our journey for the next couple of parts. Going to each biome and meeting up with their respective dragon to learn the song of the hero. So that's kind of, that kind of just sounds um out of the way, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what if I told you on each revisit you had to do some sort of gimmicky puzzle or like gimmicky sequence rather before you meet the dragon? How does that sound? Well, that doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> no. So, the one I decided to go with first, because uh, at this part, this is like the one part of the game that is non-linear. You can go to whichever biome you want first. Um, so, I chose the Elden Volcano Dragon first. This is a stealth sequence. Oh, boy. So, what happened was, like, the volcano was erupting. You got flown away in the smoke sky breeze whatever and uh all of your shit got taken away and so you have to go through the new stealth level design and find all your shit again oh yeah and you only have two hearts because f fuck you i guess because <laughs> yeah. why not because why not yeah that's uh yeah, this is the absolute worst part of the game. The third worst part of the game, really. This, the whole Song of the Hero quest has, has a whole bunch of gimmicky shit with each biome revisit. See, I told you we'd be revisiting these places a lot. And this part right here sucks. Fucking sucks. God damn it. Ugh. Is, is sitting healing you? <laughs> yeah, sitting heals you in this game. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's because you're resting and, uh, yeah. You can catch your breath. That's what's happening. So, yeah, there's that. And so, on the map here, they've got the treasure chests labeled there. I think you meet up with another one of those Magma people and. He tells you which of the chests has which of your dungeon items in it. And so, uh, yeah, go at it. I think there's a predetermined way on, like, the order of the dungeon items you're supposed to get. Because after you get that respective dungeon puzzle, like, the little stealth level design kind of caters toward that uh, dungeon item. See, like those bulb things, those are like right after you get your claw shots back. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So I think it's set up exactly like that. Let's also not forget, we had a lot of our shit. <laughs> we had a lot of shit before we got to <laughs> Yeah, we had a lot of stuff. Uh-huh. And we have to do this stealthily. If we get caught, we have to do the whole thing over again. Uh, great. And for the regular audience, this is like the this song of the hero side. It's not even a side quest. It's just fucking bloated filler that I hate. This is gonna consist of like the next five to six parts at least. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. It is not fun whatsoever. But God damn, this is where the absolute pacing of the game drags. It drags. And this, if I knew better and, you know, didn't care about actually finishing the games that I played, this is probably where I'd stop. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because this shit is not fun. Yeah, so we've technically been to this specific level design before, but all these fences weren't there before. So that's how they make the uh, stealth section challenging. Ooh, spook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's always a great idea to have stealth mechanics in a game that's not about stealth. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. That's always the thing when with games that have stealth mechanics but aren't built around stealth. It's because you don't know exactly what will trigger the enemies to notice you. Like, I could move, like, an inch, and he might notice me right there. I don't know. And also, I don't know if, like, how loud of a noise I can get away with before, uh, you know, he turns around and sees me. If I bash into the wall, that might probably do it. That's kind of obvious, right? But what if I just take, I don't know, like more than a couple footsteps <laughs> you never know <laughs> mm. turning around in the mines like this is also awkward because like I'm going right here with Link facing right uh, if I had tilted left uh, he would go backward he wouldn't actually turn his whole body if you wanted to uh. turn your whole body so <laughs> Link can be facing a certain direction. You have to manually maneuver him like that yourself. It's kind of whatever, but we've all we've been to a couple of these things where there are like those um, worm boss fights in it, which can only be struck like at the back. So yeah, yeah, you'd have to kind of re-maneuver your uh, positioning a bit to figure that out. Yeah, kind of clunky, but it's whatever. Oh yeah. Also, you don't have a sword and shield. Yeah, yeah I just noticed that we don't even have a weapon. <laughs> no, we do not have a weapon. That's why if we get caught by an enemy, we can't kill it. We get sent back to the beginning. So fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that worm thingy, which I'm completely ignoring cuz I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, what could this be? Yay! We got the Smash Bros. item back. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I think it there is like a predetermined way in in order to get every dungeon item. Because I just opened up the path to progression by using the gust bellows like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can. <laughs> there is one s section of non linearity, but, uh, no, nope, the rest of the game's still linear. <laughs> oh, man. I do like the little, uh, the attention. Um, there's a heartbeat sound effect playing, not like a like an actual human heartbeat. So it kind of you know stress your nerves out and stuff. That's a neat yeah. little thing to do. Yeah, a lot of horror games like to do that to you know put you on edge and stuff like that. Zelda suddenly a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> New Resident Evil's different than I remember. Hey, hey yo, this, this Resident Evil looking a little different now. Yeah. Oh, he punches a boulder in this game, too. <laughs> <laughs> Punching the boulder in RE5 was one of the greatest experiences of my life. <laughs> it was it was it was great. So great. <laughs> Oh, 
There's even a line in a uh, Resident Evil Village. Uh, one of the bosses says, "I fucking hate that guy, Chris Redfield, that boulder punching asshole." <laughs> <laughs> a boulder puncher. <laughs> <laughs> the boulder puncher. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the boulder puncher. I punch boulders. <laughs> hmm. It's like a, a bit that the like <laughs> that, that like like Bean Hunter and Landon will do sometimes. <laughs> we'll be like, I'm this thing. I do this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because I like, the I, I don't remember what the context was, which I mean is fair because like the the it's in like a quote section in our personal discourse, so it's like an out of context that yeah. like I, th th some somehow like you like. I, it was Hunter Land, but they, at one point they were just like, I'm the stealer! I steal things! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the digger! I dig things! <laughs> they, that's what it, that's what that, that was just kind of like a bit for us for a while, where, they, where they, like, like that's just... <laughs> it's, it's like, I'm this thing, I do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the warrior, I warrior things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I saw like a fucking video of, of something. I can't remember what it was, but it, it was it was he was showing a clip from like a different video game, and the, this, uh, this the guy was going like like in the game. I'm the light bringer. I'm fucking you. But in my head, I was like, I bring light. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Exhilarating gameplay. <laughs> yeah, this is so exciting. Magnificent. <laughs> now you'll feel my un unbridled wrath. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> my favorite part of the game is when I put the controller down. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that is exactly. That's why I like Sonic Forces. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> That's what I did the entirety of Sonic Forces. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, what a what 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 a game Sonic Forces was. Yeah, I just I love a one button maneuver. Yeah. What were they thinking? <laughs> Answer: They weren't. Like, yeah, they're probably. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh man, it's been like four years since we made an actual game. That game wasn't good. Let's go back to that uh that uh the, the, the boost thing that we did like seven years prior to that. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> it, it, it's worked before, surely it'll work again. <laughs> surely it'll work again. Like but like I don't wanna put that much effort into it, like just create a straight line as a rough draft, then we'll put in the details later, like maybe bend it a little bit, and then we'll just do it later. Sir, the game releases tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> the Oscar say, yeah, then they ran out of time. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The, <laughs> the tried and true tradition of Sonic Team. We're running out of time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> Every Sonic game in existence was rushed. <laughs> exactly. Even Sonic 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you believe that, man? People think Sonic Team was a good developer even then? Nah, fam. You gotta remember why Sonic 3 was chopped in half. Literally chopped in half. Two cartridges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised that worked. I don't know why I rolled it like that. Because I had still had enough time to, like, carry it in place. Yeah, 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 it took a little while for the bomb to blow up. You could have <laughs> you yeah. put it in a bit of a better position. I could have, but you know what? The blast radius of the bombs are uh, kind of huge. So, not complaining there. And this is me forgetting the level design. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Elden Volcano is not my favorite place in the entire game. Not exactly sure why that is, but uh, because the place is 
the most vertical of all the biomes in the game. So, and the pathways of like trying to find the correct vents to go up the volcano is kind of a little bit confusing. Because sometimes, like on my first time, like there are some pathways I didn't even realize existed my first time I was here. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think we'll see later. There's like an entire lava flow that I'd never been down before in this playthrough even. And that was like, oh, that's that's weird. Why is this here? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I still remember when we did Sonic Mania and you were watching my gameplay and you saw like pathways that I took that you didn't know about. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's that's always been true with uh, well Sonic level design specifically because they like to uh, put alternate branching pathways here and there throughout the level and create dynamic level design like that and for the repeat playthroughs as well because you know you could take like the normal path your first time around right and then on your other playthrough you might want to go through the high path and then you hit a spike bed and end up all the way on the lower path <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's like that, and so I, that's why I like, and Sonic Mania specifically, I think, has the most alternate branching pathways in any Sonic game. Yeah. I think so. It's, it's Mania and Generations that I think have the best level design in any of the Sonic games. Forces was a thing, though. <laughs> man. Yeah, man, man. Remember all that great level design we had in Generations? No? <laughs> all right. It, 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 it's, it's crazy, too, because, like, there's mods of, like, supposedly, like, beta versions of levels for Sonic Forces, and the level design was way better in the beta versions than in the final game. <laughs> You're telling me they had time? Come on. Then they... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh man what uh, what it's like to be a Sonic fan <laughs> yeah